Hey everybody, Greg here from Master Trader. What an incredible reversal day. And rotation, money shifting out of growth, the semiconductors, tech stocks, and into value. So this is the uh, S&P ETF, growth ETF, and you can see the big reversal. And of course, if we look at more details of um, narrowing in on where the money's coming out of, you know, NVIDIA, Semiconductors, big way, LRCX, that's a big institutional favorite. Uh, Meta, getting killed. AMAT reversal. Netflix, KLAC, Microsoft. I mean, across the board, um, tech getting, getting sold. XLK, of course, you're looking at the, you know, the, the ETF. And now looking at, let's take a look at value. And you can see the bottoming process. And I wrote about this in the weekend advisory letter as to um, what could possibly set up a short-term top in a market that's incredibly strong. And I wrote about the shift out of those tech stocks and into value or equally weighted ETFs, which the breadth expanded in the QQQE symbol, equally weighted Qs. Um, so we see these value stocks, money shifting in there. The question will be, how far do they get? The next, you know, resistance area is, is right up there. Now, the trade of the day was us entering in IWM. We actually used the leveraged ETF TNA and got in yesterday a little bit before the close and anticipation educated guess that these catch-up trade, catch trades, which are stocks and indices that are underperforming. So we knew we had the economic news coming out and we were in intelligent hope mode that that news would be positive for the broader markets. And the reason we went into this dog at the time was the idea of a catch-up trade, meaning the S&Ps and Qs are already up a lot. This hasn't been doing anything but bottoming. And then if the market was going to have a positive reaction to that news, there'd be a better bang for the buck, especially with a three-time leveraged ETF. And it was a fabulous trade for an overnight trade and to get out earlier today. And why did we get out earlier today? Well, because it's up at this resistance area. It's a tremendous gap. I don't know if that'll get filled. If it's going to truly stay bullish, it won't get filled. This will chop around here for a few days, maybe a week, and, and we'll see. Now, the PPI numbers are out tomorrow. And one of the things I mentioned in the green room today was, could you imagine if those numbers come out and we get a red bar ignored tomorrow? It seems pretty unlikely after such a powerful reversal. But who knows? We'll see. Right now, things appear like they're beginning to bottom. You can see these lows here getting closer together. And there's no big bar here, kind of hoping that that might be the case, that the Qs being down as much as they are, we may get them to reverse. There's an unfilled gap right there, and it's, it's right there. Um, so it's down a lot. It could go down a bit more, um, but we'll see. You know, at some point, it's only, well, we're closing in on 2 o'clock here. A lot of times, the turn comes after 2 o'clock. So I think we're in the area. I don't think it's going to turn tremendously, but maybe we get a short-term trade. We'll see if that reverses. Um, just looking at, I guess we could take a look at what is doing well in this. Wow. So what all I did is I had a miner connected to that ETF and then sorted it by percent change on the day and REITs. And so we see that these interest rate sensitive instruments where interest rates are moving down and these interest rate sensitive, sensitive instruments are having a monster day. So you see the 10 year, that's a, actually the 30 year gapped lower and moved lower. The 10 year moved down below all of this support suggests it could go lower, but again, a big gap up, up above. Uh, so we got a beginning of, of a move here. Uh, we look at what is moving. So that's already moved quite a bit. It was a nice reversal right there. One of the discussions we had 
in the green room today was these hook type patterns, which look like a fishing hook. You know, it pulls back and flips back up again. And the concept needs to be preceded by a momentum move. So a hook kind of a pattern, I forget what stock we were talking about, but I showed that particular pattern wasn't like this on the daily chart. It actually had broken down. So again, this hook type of a pattern, pull back and flip up, needs to be presented by a momentum move. That, uh, and that sets up a high probability that that hook pattern will work. Um, even these uh, home builders, just the in, they look like they were going to go lower and interest rates moving as low as they have, I guess, you know, short covering, you know, just bringing these up, just too bullish in, uh, an environment for uh, something that's interest rate sensitive. Those, those rates move down, mortgages become cheaper. And it's probably, I imagine, pent up demand um, for buying homes, I would guessing. Um, you know, interest rates having moved up as much as they have and then beginning to pull back. Sometimes buyers just begin to uh, take advantage with a fear that the interest rates will go back up again. Um, SMH is, you know, obviously a short-term topping pattern. On the other hand, financials breaking out above the resistance. A lot of earnings coming out. Um, big turnarounds in, other, in stocks like Uber. You can take a look at Lyft, but similar kind of a pattern. Doesn't look as good as this one, but a big down bar followed by a big up bar. We talked about that in, in MT Live. These kind of big reversals. Um, biotechs broke out. And, uh, you know, XLE having a retest and reversal. So with those three indices and energy, biotech, and you can look at KRE, financials moving up like that, it does suggest that IWM, after maybe some backing and filling, would go higher. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, the letters are having great days. Uh, we nailed Tesla. We had a couple of trades in Tesla this week. Uh, one worked out great. I don't know if the first one was last week. The second one didn't work out so good. It went up surprisingly more than what we had thought it might but we grabbed this right at the high up here for that call for that call spread and uh that's probably about worthless maybe it's about a penny or so now so that got closed out another great trade so as always if you have any questions email dan and i dan and greg at master trader